Most people in America are looking forward to what they can and can't do to other people. When I was staying in a jail cell in Marion County and sleeping, someone ripped out my ACL. They've continued to do that when I was on campus. Some monster did that to me when I was sleeping, and you'd think I would yell. You would think I would feel it. But if someone's been trained psychologically to not feel someone's touch when they're sleeping, that's a real dangerous place to be. If someone has tainted your food to put you out so they can play with you, that's something else entirely. If someone thinks they have the lawful right to stalk you, put your hands in your pants to put their hands on your private parts, that's a major problem. We have liars and maintenance groups who throw things out of people's homes so they can pick them up later. We have Hispanics and Hondurans that do that all across campus, and they're walking around with hundreds of keys from JCM, and I'm like, what the fuck is that man doing inside that house? I know there's students that live up there. Why is he walking up in that house? Is he a part of their cleaning process? Did the JSM company allow that Honduran or Hispanic little vertically challenged man like me, I'm vertically challenged too, to walk in someone's apartment with his broom and his uh, dustpan? I think not. Generally speaking, maintenance men are not allowed in someone's home without them being present or without a written off waiver that says it's okay. There are some apartment complexes like my old one that was sort of a half flood housing and half good place to stay in Noblesville, Indiana, that openly did that, and I was pretty fucking pissed off because I was pretty damn sure that their little maintenance boys in their late 20s and early 30s were fucking around in my home, stealing my property all the time, and I guarantee that that one of those girls named Ashley stole my entire rock collection from me. I took a long time to pick those rocks, I took a long time to keep those metaphysical things because I wanted their property in my situational bag that I carry across my chest to give me energy and life in my own religious way.